Hey, what's up? It's Jared with State Attack, and I wanted to talk about my top five Aki products. Now, Aki products are wireless accessories. They have a ton of different products. They typically sell them on Amazon. And so if you've ever searched for something like a car charger or a battery bank or something, you've probably came across the Aki name. Now, most of the Aki stuff I have purchased myself, but they have sent me a couple of items for free. They haven't paid me for this video. They're definitely not sponsoring it. They didn't send me anything with any intentions that I would create any video content. But because I use Aki stuff pretty much all over my home and office, I wanted to talk about it a little bit and, uh, and give you my opinion on what their best products are that I utilize in my life. And, and it, not to say that you have to buy an Aki product even, uh, you just have to buy a product that is of quality of Aki. And there are some other brands that are out there uh, that have products similar to Aki but I've enjoyed their products and they've held up, uh, they've stood the test of time and that's why I'm here talking about them. And I'll reference the products that they sent to me versus the ones that I bought on my own. So the first is not pictured here because I'm using all of them and that is their quick charge hub which is a six port. It has fast charge like quick charge 3.0 enabled on two of those ports and then the other four ports are uh, of, of course higher wattage or, or voltage or both uh, ports. They're just not quick charge certified. Um, so what's cool about that is that there's still a lot of different cables that we have to have. We have USB-C, micro USB, mini USB. Uh, if you've got something really old, you you know you may have some other form of USB charging that you need. And so with a six port charge hub, you can plug into one outlet and charge multiple devices. And I typically have several cables coming off of mine because I'll be charging my iPad at USB-C or maybe my camera. I'll have a lightning cable for my iPhone. I'll have maybe a, a micro USB plugging into some sort of older device. And then of course, for my boosted board control, takes mini USB. It's one of the few mini USB devices that I have left. So I have to have a cable for that for charging as well. And I have a couple of these charging ports or charging hubs around uh, where I utilize charging. Uh, with my family, we have a lot of devices as well. And so we have a place where all those devices go and all the cables come off of a quick charge hub. Uh, and, and then we everybody plugs their devices into that in one convenient place. And so it's an extremely useful device. I've purchased the ones that I have. I think I've, I've purchased two of this specific model, which is their best model, their most recent model. In the past, they had a four port one uh, before quick charge 3.0 was a thing. They had versions that were fast charge, but not quick charge. And so I've purchased several of these over time um, and they're just fantastic little products. The links uh, to the things that I mentioned are down in the description below the video. It takes you to Amazon. Um, you don't need to click on these. Uh, you could just go to Amazon and search, but it is an affiliate link and it does help support the channel here um, by uh, you clicking and buying something. Um, the next thing is this uh, quick charge car charger. Now, uh, most cars still have uh, a cigarette lighter adapter or whatnot, or a port that could have been a cigarette lighter adapter at one point in its life. Um, a lot of cars also have USB uh, on them. But the problem is, is that none of them are really USB 3, like Quick Charge 3.0. So you're not going to be able to quick charge your device using one of those USB ports that your vehicle came with. I just bought a travel trailer and the travel trailer has USB ports all over it, but they're not quick charge. And of course I want quick charge. So I'm still going to need a device like this in the trailer. Uh, but I use this specific one in my truck and it has quick charge 3.0 and it has two ports. Now the reason that I like this one with the two ports is because I can charge my iPhone and my Android phone. I often am carrying two different devices. Uh, sometimes I'll need to charge a camera. Sometimes I'll need to charge an iPad and having the, the higher uh, voltage and wattage or whatever that comes out of this device charges those things faster if they support it, of course. Um, but this is a fantastic little device. They also make a newer one, which has a quick charge, a USB-A, and then it also has a USB-C in it. So for those of you with 
new devices that are USB-C and you have that cable that has USB-C on both ends, uh, Aki makes a version for that. I'll make sure to link to that down in the description below. So Aki makes some good battery banks and this one is a bit old. This is a 20,000 milliamp battery bank which has more than enough power to charge my phone a couple of times easily. Uh, I've charged my phone a couple of times. I'll use this to charge a camera. Uh, I'll plug it into a GoPro and a GoPro will run like forever off of a charge on this thing. Like I said, this is an older version, 20,000 milliamp. Their newer version is about the same size as this and it's 30,000 milliamp. Um, this one does have quick charge 3.0 and then it also has their um, AIQ kind of intelligent charging port right here, uh, which supposedly is better than just a standard port. Um, so it has one of each. It also has a, a input for charging with a micro USB and it has an input for charging with a uh, lightning cable like that would come with your iPhone or, or previous generation iPads. And what's cool about that is that you can then just plug in with one cable and charge this and then flip that cable around and charge your device. Uh, the new version is a little bit different. I would definitely don't really care whether it has that because it's it's mainly for charging the battery bank. I'm fine with using a, a USB uh, on the battery bank. And the newer version of the battery bank has USB type C. So it's not even an, an issue uh, here worth discussing too much. One neat thing about this one is it does have an LED light that you can use as like a flashlight. So if you press and hold for a long period of time, the light will come on and uh, you can use this for like searching around. I carry this in my laptop bag and I don't have to carry a flashlight with me either because this can act as a flashlight if I need it to. So it's just kind of a neat feature. I just recommend going with the newer version because you're getting an extra 10,000 milliamps, which means you're gonna be able to charge more devices uh, for a longer period of time. Number four is this USB hub. This is an item that they did send to me. Uh, they sent me this USB hub, which I um, thought at first, I have USB hubs, I'm not gonna need yet another one. Um, but I started using this one because it has an SD card reader and it also has a micro SD card reader in it as well. And my other hubs didn't, or it only had one or the other. Now, the only thing that I wish that this had was a second USB-C port, because if you want to do uh, charging, you want to pass through charging, you're going to utilize that USB-C port and not have any other USB-C ports available. But... The fact that it has one, two, three USB type three ports on the side, I could plug in additional things like hard drives uh, or other accessories and then plug this right into the side of my laptop. Uh, I can plug this into an iPad and then use the card reader off of it and then also plug accessories like a microphone into the iPad which I do when I'm podcasting directly into my iPad. So it's definitely uh, super useful. I, I absolutely love this specific one because uh, of all the ports that it has. I just wish that it had an additional USB type C. Uh, it also has HDMI that you can go out to your television or something like that. So iPad to TV or whatnot, you can just go directly that way as well. Um, uh, on the topic of iPads, if you're thinking about something like this for your iPad, you can utilize something like this. Uh, and I have a video talking about how to add uh, external storage to your iPad. Um, you can't really just plug a hard drive into the side of this and then plug it into your iPad, which is a real bummer, but there are kind of workarounds and I, I talked about that in a video. Um, so uh, if you're interested in that, check out the links in the description below. Lastly is cables. Aki cables are uh, are really good. And here is one of them. This is a longer one, uh, which was wound up until it tipped over and fell on the floor. Um, but these cables are stronger. And so if you're running into issues where your cables are always fraying and coming apart, especially if you bought cables from Apple, which are typically a little more frail, um, these Aki cables are super strong. They're li it's like a, uh, um, a, a nylon cover that just goes over and, and it does make the cable like harder to bend and flex around. So it's not gonna, it's not as soft as a cable as, as like say even this one that's on this, uh, on this hub. 
but I like these cables because they're strong and I don't have to worry about them as much. And you can buy these in a pack. Like for example, this is a USB-A to USB-C. And I bought a pack that came with like three or four different lengths and it was extremely cheap. And these cables have lasted me quite a while and they still pretty much look brand new. I have uh, this type of cable in my truck. I have this type of cable uh, connected to those quick charge hubs that I talked about at the beginning. They're absolutely fantastic uh, and strong and durable, and that is what matters when it comes to a cable. If you don't want to be replacing your cables all the time, I recommend uh, choosing the Aki cable. Um, so uh, really the only item that they've sent me that I talked about in this video um, is, is, this, uh, is this hub here, this USB Type-C hub. Everything else I purchased far before Aki ever reached out to me in the first place. Um, there are some other Aki stuff that I use sometimes, but these are the things that I use almost on a daily basis and I wanted to share them with you. So if you've ever wondered about the quality of the Aki products that you see on Amazon all the time, I'm here to vouch for some of them. Uh, real quickly before I end this video, I want to talk about these headphones which they sent me. Uh, these are the uh, Aki um, key headphones, I think, or something like that. I had a hard time figuring out exactly what the name is on them because it doesn't really say on the box. It just says model number EPB80. Now, uh, I'm normally used to a good experience from Aki products, but these headphones were not that good of an experience. First of all, the box was like glued shut and I had to like pretty much rip it to get it opened. Um, the little ear uh, wigs or whatever, uh, they're not ear wigs, the part that goes in your ear is gummy and kind of gross and sticking it in your ear, you know, your ear has stuff and, and I've barely, I tried using these once and then they've just been in the box and they collect all sorts of gunk, they're just nasty and yes, it comes with a bunch of extras there but they're all sticky and it's just a weird kind of gross feeling. And then on top of that, the audio quality out of these is not that great, although they're supposed to be, uh, you know, really good Bluetooth 5.0. Um, they are water resistant, eight hours on a charge. Uh, oh, and by the way, the charging port on it is USB type C, which I was like pleasantly surprised and thinking to myself like, OK, these these might be really cool for those times when I'm being more active and my AirPods are going to pop out of my ear. Like I'll, I might use these, but the audio quality just was not there. I mean, Apple can can make good audio quality with AirPods that don't need cables connecting through and and manufacturers come out with things like these that have a fraction of the audio quality of AirPods and they require a cord and they've got, you know, sticky kind of goopy feeling, you know, inserts on them. They don't fit that well. I just was not a fan of this product at all. I don't know what happened in the Aki planning phase with this product, uh, but I would recommend avoiding it. It just isn't that good of a product. So this is my caveat. You know, you can't just sing praises for everything. So I can't recommend this, but I can highly recommend all the other products that I talked about in this video. So that's gonna do it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and click that bell next to it to be notified when I put out new videos. Uh, what are your thoughts? Have you owned an Aki product? Have you had a good or bad experience? Talk about it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your opinion because obviously this is just my opinion and your opinion adds to my knowledge and understanding as well. So I love to hear from you guys down in the comment section below. So until next time, my name's Jared and we'll see you later.